What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Fishing with Norby. Here we are, towing the rig. This is video one of the series, the first video of the entire year series, Road to the BPT, Road to the Bass Pro Tour. Here we are, we're in Lake Mississippi, stopping for gas on our way to Texas. We're going to Sam Rayburn. This is gonna be practice day number one video. We're gonna drive 10 hours from Alabama today over to Texas, be my first time fishing there. Staying with Laker, Hal, staying with Ethan Green. It's gonna be a fun time with the boys. Leaving my wife and my two twin babies at home. They're over two months old now. They're still not sleeping through the night. So, huge shout out to her and taking care of them. Her mom's coming down to, to help her in this time, which is a big blessing. But, we're filling up the tank, gassing up the boat. We're gonna be there. We're gonna start pre-fishing in the morning. We'll see you at the house when we get there. Check in with Laker and Ethan. Let's go. later we are here place we are staying i don't know about it Woo! sitting on a ledge sitting on a ledge oh, like hey. you're right here what up, dude? what's up fellas what's up how's it going Woo. you doing all right yes sir I'll pop up missed out of here. you missed you what's, what's up, up dude? how you doing man <laughs> are we ready son you guys ready, ready we are ready yeah hey looking big Hey, looking pretty. Trying to look like you, bro. Don't break off those fish now. <laughs> One day y'all just thrive to look like this right here. You see this? That's it. That's it. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun this week. You guys all rigged up already? We ready. I'm the last one to the house. Here it is. Nice little cottage in the woods. I like it. Dude, I that like new it. camera is sweet. You like that? that thing, son. Man, yeah, it's Don't sharp. Got that new camera. What do you guys think about it? Heck yeah. <laughs> oh man. Fine. What hey, you, we you watching, watching that live? You're watching old Drew Gill over here. Drew he's Gill in is second killing right it. Now. He is he's killing it. He's got... Uh, How far back behind Wheeler is he? He's behind Connell by 22 oh, pounds. Oh, Connell. 22 pounds. That's a, <laughs> that's a little that's bit a of a few five-pounders. We're going to find us a few five-pounders this week. That's right. I'm pumped. It's going to be a good week, guys. We're going to go get some dinner here in a little bit. Maybe some, some Mexican? Yeah. Mm. Ah, all right. And then we're going to hit in the morning for practice. We'll see you guys on the water bright and early. Ooh, just getting to the ramp. It is dark out. We're about to put the boat on. You can be on 30 minutes before sunrise here. But I want to check the water clarity. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the deep dive app because it makes a big difference with what we're doing. They have a wind effects map. It's blowing 13. That is pretty windy. Wow, look at that. <laughs> My wife's missing me with the babies. It's blowing 13 and right along the bank where we put in. So it's going to be blowing today. It tells you your windy banks. We might have to hop across. It's going to be, gosh, it's going to be wavy. And then what I wanted to check is the water clarity estimate map. So that's what we're looking at here. We're going to be mid lake. I'm not wanting to fish in the mud. We're going to be mid lake right there. So let's get after it. We're going to put the boat in. It's going to be fun.
to get started. Rainy day. Just been graphing around for a little bit. Found some standing timber back here. Some fish around it. I'm going to start fishing around. Look at that fish. What's he doing there? What's he doing? I think he wants caught. There we go, first one of the day. <laughs> My first Texas Sam Rayburn bass is a stud. <laughs> We're throwing that core tackle hover rig. Oh man, console scope guys. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's a prototype by Cornfield Fishing Gear. I've been using this thing right here. I'll show you it sometime during our tournament series, how it works. Helps me look around more while I'm graphing. You're gonna see that on the boat a lot. There he is, jerk bait fish. Smoked the jerk bait. Did not want the hover rig. Nice little guy. Two pounder. Second fish of the day. Two pounder. That's fun. Let's throw this guy at him. their deal they go up and just nip it every time why are they just nipping it He didn't nip it that time. Now they're a nice two pounder. Pound and a halfer. Maybe that's why they're nipping it. Not giants. We ain't catching them though. Man, that thing hooked them so good. Ooh. Catch them on the mock schooler. Love this little bait. Perfect little fluke slash Tamiki bait. It's like an in-between. It's got some awesome ribs on the tail. Great colors. Should be available by the time you're seeing this. Link down below. They just came out. I'm serious, guys. These are legit. Look at that tail. And then, here you can see it on the chest camera. Got the ribs. Love it. You can fish it like a fluke or Tamiki. Real quick, some baits we've been whacking them on. You're gonna see me catching a ton of fish, big fish this year. Mock prototypes have been coming out. They are coming out March 14th. I've been designing them, kicking their bass. A-Dub, Tyler's Real Fishing, Juan Carlos from Senor Bass, Marshall Stamps from Georgia Bassmaster. We've all put our heads together, been designing some baits. But right here, the Mock Schooler, available in some amazing sizes and colors. Got the ribs on the tail. Then you have the Mock Craw, again, some amazing colors. Ribs on the bottom side, flaps, but not as much as a Rage Craw. You have the Mock Mega Worm, pretty sweet design on a, a mid size it's in between a, a regular seven inch and a ten inch it's about eight and a half inches and last you have the mock stick 
which has a wacky rig circle perfectly in the dead center of it to put your wacky hook. All these baits drop in March 14th. Link down below. Tackle Warehouse is the only place that's carrying them for this launch. Go check them out. Use my link. That is the new baits coming out. Catching some giants on them, so stay tuned. Another one. We're in the babies. The baby hole. <laughs> Tiny fish. But catch them. Spotted bass. Sam Rayburn spotted bass. Came here for the large one. Let's go. Let's go. Next. Keep looking. Keep looking. Two pounders in there. We got on the eight pounders. Whatever I got is huge, guys. I don't know what I have. If this is a bass, that's a monster. Can't even move this thing. Can't even move it. Something big. I can put on that that deep diver. Come on, what do we got? What do we got? He is taking off. Trying to pull him up. I think I got something in the back. Whatever I got is big. Come on, come up. It is a carp in the back. That is a giant carp. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can poke this thing off of there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can get the pliers. I got a 30 pound carp. 30 pound carp up here on the flat hooked it in the back come on come on oh don't do that don't do that oh shoot there it goes oh whoo <laughs> giant thought i snagged the stump at first <laughs> this thing is so big I can grab the bill of the crankbait. I got some good line on here. 12 pound. Tactical. Come on. <sighs> Thing is so big. So fat. Oh, look at that. Oh, I wore him out. 30 pound buffalo. There's one. That feels like a good one. Whatever it is. It's been a minute since we had a bite. We went shallow, tried trap fishing. We tried fishing grass. We got one here. It's a good one too. Big one of the day. Went back to scoping. Woo! Three pounder. All right. Back to scoping. The old mock school. Take it. That's how we got to play this week, then that's how we got to play. If we can get 15 pounds and then go up shallow and find biggins, that'll work. Or maybe the biggins will be out here. All right. See you, buddy.
There we go. Another one. Didn't have this camera rolling. That's a good one too. Another three pounder. Oh yeah. All right. Look how he ate that. Thump gel. Over rigging. So awesome. Three pounder. Let's go. Three pounder. There's a three pounder right here. And we're gonna catch him right here. Here he comes. That's so fun. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. Okay, just a two pounder. Just a two pounder. Got him. Back to back fish. see what this is. Nipple you again. Really again. He won't hit again. There he is. I think that's a good one. Yep. We followed that fish for a long time. Three pounder. A lot of three pounders out here scoping. That was on the baby Z too. See ya. Here he comes. Yeah, that's a better one. Why is that camera going? No, there we go. Another nice one. Oh, it's a big white. <laughs> I thought he was a largie. He's sitting down there like a good sized largie. Big old white. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just caught a white. We just caught a big old crappie. Woo! Old Texas slab right there. New area. Little guy. Wow. Big old head and eyes and tiny, tiny body. There we go. Got him. Good whites and decent larges so far. Jeez. Took me forever to hit him. I don't know what I have, but it really didn't want to eat. And then it finally ate. I think it's a striper. I think it's a striper the way it was acting. No, it's a largie. Wow. That's crazy. That's the best one of the day, I think. Three and a quarter pound largie. A black spot on his tail. Look at that. Two black spots. Beautiful. See, buddy. That acted just like a striper. That's crazy. That was a nice one.
All right, folks, we just took off the frog togs. It's getting pretty nice out. It's mid 60s now, probably 62, 63, and it's warming up. We're catching a bunch of fish, but not the size. I'm gonna stick with this pattern at least for the rest of the day and definitely a little more in the tournament, especially because they were catching really big ones doing this at Toledo Bend yesterday. There's giants, that's like 45 minutes from here. Different lake, it is a different lake. It's deeper than Sam Rayburn, but I have a feeling I can find them doing this begging somewhere. So I'm excited, let's get back to it. We're catching them. This is a blast, hope you're enjoying. Hit that subscribe button for me. We've caught a bunch of fish. Let's keep going. Ooh, he's right here. Got him. Man, this is so fun. Texas bass. Catching them. We are definitely catching them. Every single fish I throw at wants to eat it. It's not even hard to do. Fish out here in the middle of nowhere, probably never seen a lure in their life. See if we can go back to back here. Singing, whoa, whoa, here it comes. Ooh, listen to that one pull. We got us a real one, maybe. Might have the first real one of the day. We do. We sure do. Ooh, listen to that one pull. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's not a, he's not that big. He's just feisty. It's good two and three quarters. Not the big one of the day, but eh, he's three pounds. See you, bud. That's sweet. He bit my tail off, a little turd. I'm gonna go ahead and switch our color up here. Since we lost our tail, don't wanna go through all these in practice. I feel confident we can catch two and three quarter pound fish. It's just, we need to find the bigger ones. So, I'm going to keep doing this today, but I thought that was going to be a little bigger bite. A little bigger fish the way you pulled the drag. Alright, we're going to use a pearl and chrome bottom one. Let's switch it up. Mock has some amazing colors in these things. Can't beat them. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Gotta put our weight in. All this is linked down below. You guys can get it. The, the link below is the only place to buy these mock schoolers. The only place. They just came out. Brand new. I helped design them five of us designed them super good action on them that rib tail holds the thump gel too there he is both of us. I guess because Ethan called us in, maybe. Oh, here he comes, Laker. You ready? You, you ready to hear that? Zzz. Zzz. There it is. You hear it? Zoop, zoop. There he is. Old pound and a halfer. Pound and a halfer. <laughs> I knew that, that noise wasn't big. <laughs> yeah, it said. Eh, eh. That little splash, like a little midget splash. <laughs> a little midget fish. Bro, I'm gonna whack them right there. Huh? I'm gonna whack them. Oh, shoot. That's actually a good little spot on my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah? All right, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me buzz around this so I don't take forever. Right. Here, I'm gonna set the hook first. Got him. Baby. 
Got him. Yeah, he's a nice one. Fired up. Fired up. <laughs> Had the camera off. He's two and a half. Two and a half. We're catching so many of these fish. No biggins. No biggins. <laughs> like a good one. Gosh, that looks like a nice one. Woo, that might be the big one of the day. Oh, it is, let's go. That's the big one of the day. All right. That one's a three and a half. Yep. Big one of the day. That'll work. Thank you, Lord. Came off while I was trying to get him in the boat. It is a beautiful evening here on Sam Rayburn. Look at this sunset. Just gorgeous. Got a good paint to the sky. We are going to get off here in about five ten minutes we got to be off the water sunset we only have 25 minutes left for our boat to be in the ramp according to the rules and we're going to go eat some food going to go see laker and eg eg ethan he lost his lower unit he just went out so i'm uh, not sure laker's towing him in we're going to see how they're doing here in a little bit check in on him it's no fun so I ended up forgetting to shoot the day one outro. Ethan is figuring out a situation to fish out of another boat. Thank the good Lord. We had a good day one of practice. Stay tuned for the next video. Day two of practice dropping soon. I want to leave you with a verse for the day. First Peter 3.18 says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Jesus was resurrected after he was nailed to the cross for our sins, your sins and my sins. Believe in him today. He will save you. It's the only path to heaven. God bless you. Catch you on the next video here at Fishing with Norby.